Hello, Alexander Cowan here, interviewing the wonderful David Heyman for Vomo TV. So, hi, uh, David, how are you doing? I'm grand, thanks. Hi, Looking forward to doing the show tonight. Yeah. Absolutely. So, what can you tell me about Cause of Thunder? Uh, it's a sequel to a, a one-man show I did uh, two and a half years ago before the Scottish referendum, all about the issues raised in the referendum. Uh, I play a lifelong Labour man, a trade unionist, who on the eve of the referendum uh, decides to reject an OBE, the offer of an OBE, and decides to vote yes. Mm -hmm. This is two and a half years down the line. We live in a different world, a more fractured, uh, uglier world with Brexit and Trump. and The whole political and moral landscape have changed. So he's looking at the world from the perspective of, of now, 2017. What challenges have you faced being quite vocal about your political opinions as an actor? Uh, uh, no challenges whatsoever. None? No. Oh, good. Because I'm fairly fearless. <laughs> you know, it's better if you can say it. I much prefer being able to make a political and moral statement through the course of the work, mm -hmm. uh, th through my work as a performing artist rather than me as an individual. As an actor, it must require quite a lot of discipline and skill to put on a one-man play and tour it around. Is there any advice you could give to uh, 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 new actors attempting to do a similar kind of production? What, a one-man show? Yeah. Don't do it! <laughs> Don't do it! That way madness lies! Seriously! It's, it can be lonely up there, but it's really, really exciting and exhilarating because, you know, the. the you're responsible for its success or its failure because you're up there on your own. You can, mm -hmm. you know, if I screw up, I can't turn to my buddies on stage to help me out of a, of a tight spot. So um, it's challenging, but in a wonderful way. I, I love, I love doing one man shows. And you've done some directing as well, haven't you? I've directed theatre, TV, and <coughs> movies all mm -hmm. of my life. Yeah. So from the other side of the table, is there any advice you could give to actors? about working with directors, like what did you learn about your craft from being in that um, different perspective of a production? Uh, the thing that hits you most is most uh, when you hit the industry is that the majority of TV and film directors don't direct performance. They don't direct actors. Mm -hmm. That's why there's so much typecasting in the industry. Or oh, let's cast Heyman as a baddie, I don't need to work on that, he'll take care of himself. I can look after the, the, the pictures and all the rest of the madness of directing a movie. So you've got, to do it for, you've got to do it for yourself. Don't expect any director in film or television to direct you, because you probably won't. You've obviously worked in, in TV and film for a very long time. Is there a preference between the two, and what for you is the, is the main sort of differences in how you like, potentially like, prepare for roles in each one? Uh, Theatre is, a, above all, my favourite. I, mean, I love doing film and television. It's a different discipline. It's the same job, but a different di discipline, different approach. You internalise and you sustain a performance over, say, six months, whereas with Bob Cunningham, like this evening, I sustain a performance over an hour, you know. Um, but no, theatre would always be my, my, my first love. And uh, working on the period drama Taboo as well, that's, that's absolutely awesome, working with the likes of, of Tom Hardy, and I remember you talking about that when you, you came to pass. What's it, what's it like being part of um, such a successful period drama? The production values are extraordinary. It looks like a movie. It's got Ridley Scott as executive producer and Tom Hardy. It's got Stephen Knight, who writes Peaky Blinders and one of the best script writers around. He's written the script, so it's a wonderful piece to work on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I sort of think it's the, the antidote to Downton Abbey, in a way. Mm -hmm. It's not posh folk in frocks, it's um, poor folk up to their arse in mud, <laughs> and glory and blood, and guts and mayhem. So uh, that makes it kind of tastier. And working with Hardy is extraordinary. I mean, he, as you can imagine, he's, he's a deeply intense man. He brings this intensity with him. Doing Taboo was very much like a piece of theatre, because Tom leading from the front, he being the executive and the, the creator of it and playing the, the leading part. Um, he encouraged uh, a, an openness and, and, you know, and a creative input from, from everyone, which is, which is very rare. So it was lovely. It's a very, a very special experience. Oh, great. Well, thank you very much. Cheers. That's been Pleasure. Nice. And good luck. Good luck, everybody.